Hi everyone, how are you? It's Leah Koss with the Mortgage Center and I wanted to help explain how exactly banks qualify your income because what you think is a $50,000 a year job might not be to them. So let me go through some different scenarios. I'm sure you will find your situation in and amongst this bunch. Uh, obviously we've got people who are self-employed. We've got people who are salary plus commission, salary plus bonuses or overtime, hourly, and then of course just straight up salary. Uh, and that one's obviously the most cut and dry. It's the simplest one because your salary is the same every year no matter what. In those situations, what the bank is going to require is the most recent pay stub as well as a job letter. Occasionally they might want two pay stubs, but for the most part just one pay stub, the most recent, as well as a job letter. And there's templates of job letters on my website if you need any, um, which is mortgagesinvancouver.com or leacost.ca. Um, and for the most part, it just wants to know your position, how long you've been there for, what are you making, and it has to be signed by someone who's authorized to fire you. <laughs> All right? So that's the easiest situation. Then we've got the ones with more variable numbers in them. We've got people with full commission, part commission, plus salary, overtime, part time, things of this nature. Now for the most part, the rule of thumb is you're just going to take the last two years and average it out. Whatever that number is, that's what the banks are going to use. Now there is some different uh, variations of this. For example, if you're on full commission and two years ago you made $50,000 and this year you only made thirty, dollars well that's showing the banks that you're on a decline and that makes them a little bit nervous. So they're only going to qualify you at the lowest amount, which would be $30,000. If, for example, you're on the incline, for the most part, they're just going to take the two-year average. They may take the higher of the numbers, but they're probably just going to take the two-year average. So that's for all of those situations. Anything where you've got overtime, um, commission, bonuses. If you get 10 grand bonuses every single year and you have for the last 10 years, it doesn't matter. They're not necessarily going to qualify it. They're going to take the two-year average on it. Okay? Now, self-employed people. Basically, it's the same rule of thumb, but there's a couple of different variations uh, that's actually going to help you as a self-employed person. Now, let's say, for example, you've been in your own business for the last two years. Well, again, they're going to take the last two-year average, uh, but they're actually going to add 15% onto that because they know that owning your own business, you're actually having a lot of write-offs. So you're going to get that 15% credit. Now, let's say, for example, you're brand spanking new in your own business, but you've been working in the industry for longer than you know a couple of years. So an example of this is say you've been working for somebody as a plumber, now you've started your own business as a plumber and you've only been doing it on your own for about six months, a year, year and a half. Well you can actually take the years from being a plumber and working for someone and just take your last two years between working for yourself and working for someone and average that out. So that's a nice benefit and in fact the banks look upon that quite fondly even more so than if you've just been straight up in the industry only for two years by working for yourself. So uh, that's also a nice way to help you out, especially when you are self-employed. A lot of people get worried that they're not going to qualify for anything, but you actually can as long as you've been in the industry for two years. So hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, give me a call, an email, whatever works for you. Twitter me and uh, I can answer your questions. I can also help to get you pre-approved by qualifying your income properly and seeing what you're worth to a bank. If you have any other questions, you can go to leahcost.ca or mortgagesinvancouver.com, which is my blog website. And uh, of course, call me with my information that's on the site. Um, other than that, I guess good luck, and uh, I guess I will be seeing you soon.